back. Well, check this out. The largest university in East Texas is turning 100 years old this month. KTRE's Mariela Gonzalez shows us the history and how Stephen F. Austin State University is celebrating their centennial. Over the last 100 years, Stephen F. Austin State University has been part of thousands of students' journey. Uh, it's very, very significant for our students, our alumni, and our faculty and staff. There's a buzz around campus. A lot of people are excited. Chairman of the SFA Centennial Committee, John Branch, says they have many events underway to celebrate the milestone. The official opening of the university was on September 18, 1923. Chris Cotton is the university archivist and explains that was all thanks to one city of Nacogdoches citizen committee that advocated for a teacher's college to the area. The teacher's college uh, was part of a larger program by the state of Texas to increase education in the rural parts of the state. But the Austin building that sits on Vista Drive wasn't completed yet for the 1923 fall semester. And the city of Nacogdoches itself actually stepped up and uh, brought uh, built buildings on the campus of the high school to host the first um, the first classes. The Austin and the Rusk were the first two buildings of SFA and now 100 years later there are over 70 academic and administrative buildings across the campus. This year the university became part of the University of Texas system which Cotton says sets up the university for a great future ahead. Really the the resources um, of being part of the UT system is just really sets SFA up for the next 100 years and I and Branch says the centennial celebration is an event you don't want to miss. To be on campus during the 100th anniversary is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Mariela Gonzalez KTRE East Texas News 9. SFA kicks the centennial four-day celebration tomorrow, including alumni awards, sports games, and a ribbon cutting of the new Mickey Elliott of Fine Art Building. You can go to our Big Red Box section at ktra.com to get a link to the event schedule. We'll be right back.